got at least half the right words in it hello hello everyone um oh i feel like i'm a little bit loud i'm gonna turn myself down a tiny bit uh, can you guys talk hello my no, name is eric it's impossible. um how are you doing today david i'm uh i'm really tired honestly i'm 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 tired uh hello hi tired i'm shiver hi shiver um can we talk? Uh, so we talk? I wanted to. I wanted to quickly. Um... <laughs> Can we talk? We need to have a talk. All right. <laughs> Anxiety levels immediately rise up. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we talk. Um, no, I want to talk because we. This we is why you having... back just for this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We were having a talk. Uh, it's time. I'm pregnant. I thought I'd let you all know. I mean, we are, we were all. You said you couldn't get pregnant. Is it mine? Okay. There were at least four others there that night. <laughs> All right. No, I want to. I want to. Before we go into Star Citizen, we were having a rousing um, discussion about something that I think probably matters to everyone in this chat as well. And we were discussing uh, Star Trek and how 
Strange New Worlds is the best first season of any Star Trek. Easily. Yeah, the best first season. And if it continues in this vein, has, you know, possible claims at being one of the best Treks. One of yep. the best. Maybe even the best. Possibly. Ah, oh, no, yeah. oh. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt Shiver. They need to. They need to put in another like five or six amazing seasons to have it happen. But you know. So one, I want mm. to know from everyone in chat, what do you think of Strange New Worlds, and do you agree? And two, uh, I I don't actually. I apologize to both of you right now. I don't remember which of you came up with the idea, but the idea that. Strange New Worlds goes beyond five seasons and just uh, keeps going with Kirk and redoes like the original series. I thought that was a great idea. I love it. I want it to happen. That's all. And it, it, actually, because I, I was, it was funny because I just came, I just thought about it in the moment because I, I was all depressed that they kind of limited themselves to only five seasons with um, the way that this history works with that ship. But Theoretically, they don't need to stop after the five-year mission for uh, Pike. They could just keep on trucking and redo the original series. They could just airbrush William Shatner out and have the guy that <laughs> just now. replay the original series episodes with no William Shatner. Yeah. There. <laughs> I'm up for that. I, I you got to admit, Leonard Nimoy <laughs> did such a great job as Spock. He he uh, defined it. Him oh, and yeah. Tim Russ were the best portrayals of Vulcans in Star Trek. I think. Tim Russ, Jesus, what that dude can fucking act. He's amazing. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Um, Tuvok. He's Tuvok oh, yes. in, uh, okay. in Voyager. And he was amazing. Such a he very good. Yeah. Beautiful job. Um, Voyager I, is I, very much a love hate relationship for me. Uh, but there are, as, as the term goes, there are parts of it I absolutely love. Tim Russ there, is one. There's a couple of episodes I like. The fact that Tim Russ is just always the best character in that fucking show, but there were I, mm, I used to hate it because they killed the Borg in the most horrible, terrible way of just being like, "Hey, let's just throw the Borg at them." Oh, we've come up with a miraculous solving for them. Oh, we've come up with another one. I don't know. Uh, and then I hate Picard because they literally killed the Borg with the power of love. <laughs> Did they? I have not yes. watched Picard. That's ouch. I I really liked Voyager. I remember watching lots of Voyager like when it was on on the air, and I to me I thought it was fantastic. But I know, you know that a ship? lot of people don't. Yeah. Do you know what they modeled the shape of the ship on? Um, no. A spoon. Mm-hmm. Well, an upside down spoon. I like it. I'm, I'm not saying that's to... good or a bad thing. I'm just throwing it out there. It just d doesn't have to have some yeah. big, you know. It's good to have knowledge. Uh, the Crossfield class, which is the ship in Discovery, was a potential prototype for the Enterprise D, I think, in the early okay. stages. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they do tend to resurrect a lot of their old prototype ships. Mm. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I know too much uh, about Star Trek. I do think. And this is, I don't know if anybody shares this opinion, but I, I do think Voyager has one of the best episodes of all time um, in, in all of Star Trek. And that was uh, Year in Hell, uh, which yes. is a two part episode. And that, oh man, it was ridiculously good. Mm. Mm. Um, and it, yeah, in per, my, my opinion, one of the best ever. Um, Shall we uh, chat yes. about uh, Star Citizen, the other Star franchise? We're gonna one of the other. Forget There's... about war. <laughs> I I would no. You know what? Hang on. No, I'm going to uh, <laughs> going to make it so that we can't forget about wars because there was a delay to the next Star Wars game coming out, Jedi Survivor. It's been delayed a little bit like, to I think it's the end of like three weeks or something. Yeah, like three weeks. Um. But I'm really looking forward to that because uh, the first one, uh, Fallen Order, fantastic yeah. game, loved it. Cannot wait for the second one. Uh, so there, we we got angry. some Star. 
What? That game makes me so fucking angry. Why? Why? Poor old kids. It, there's some platform elements to it. Oh, oh fucking children. <laughs> you, you are, you historically hate platforming. I had to live off platform games for about 13 years of my life because I'm, I, I'm fucking ancient. And that was I pretty much this, your choice. <laughs> I just had this vision of Shiver's biggest torture being locked in a room with Mario. Oh, that's all he can play for the rest of his Mario. life. <laughs> fuck Mario. <laughs> Super Mario World was the last game I played, and I was like, no, I'm fucking done. I'm getting <laughs> fucking Amiga. Last week, you weren't here, Shiver, but last week, um, Mac came in. And uh, tapped me on the shoulder and showed me her switch. Um, and for for Christmas, I had got her a there's like a Nintendo Switch like it's a three pack of Aladdin, um, the Jungle Book, and uh, the Lion King on Sega. Those like those three amazing Sega games. And yeah. uh, she came and showed me that she had beaten the Aladdin game, and I was like. I never even beat that as a Which kid. Which is like freaking impossible. Right. <laughs> but you said they added a save system to it. They added a save so, system, so I which mean, is, it, you originally couldn't save in that game, so it was you had to like, go all the way through in one sitting, whew. which was just not possible. But anyway, I did I, beat that game, but I also probably played it day and night for <laughs> like six months. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we've brought Star Wars in. Now let's move over to the other star, which is Star Citizen. Um, and Shiver, before we do that, we haven't had you on in a bit. You've been we we Welcome haven't back. seen you since like Thanks. last year. Yeah, yeah. How, how's how how are you doing? How's twenty twenty three? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I had Christmas, and my brother in law for a present gave me fucking COVID, so I didn't have a New Year. <laughs> That's not a happy new year. No, I'm still got the fucking remnants, and it's been a month. I'm still dealing with the remnants. The wife is still dealing with the remnants. The yeah. parents are still dealing with the remnants. Don't fucking COVID. Yeah, thank yeah, you. So brutal. COVID, COVID isn't over. No, not by oh, a long yeah. shot. No, have you heard about? I, I know, I know. This is not the place for it. But there's new fucking variants. This fucking mm -hmm. XBB something something that's meant to be completely immune to the fucking vaccines that are out there now as well it's like oh great great love this for us this is i'm sure this will end so well yep uh japan peaked the covid deaths in january of this year as well yep it's, yeah because uh, you didn't get a you didn't get a super bad wave originally did you over there in japan. we had four waves i think in total but it wasn't severe. So it, was compared to other mild, it was fairly no. mild, though. Yeah, mm. yeah. But they they, they um, basically closed the borders off. Wow. Yeah, exactly. This is the benefits of having an island. You can just be like, no motherfuckers can come here anymore. That's what New Zealand did. I don't want to know that saga, to be honest with you. <laughs> I do want to oh. know. Oh. Anyway, uh, let's move on from COVID. Yeah. Uh, let's Sorry. move on to the other. The other world-ending catastrophe, which is climate change. No, um, let's move on to no, Star. Citizen. Let's not do that. Let's let's do Star Citizen. Which... Oh, so we're going to talk about Ukraine now, then? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's been going. Uh, that two-week war is no, nearly a year old. There is no, oh, there's God. no star in its name, so we can't talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we can only talk about things with stars in the name. Um... Well, Russia used to have stars on their flag. <laughs> one great big one. I think every country had a star in their flag at some yeah, point. At some point. Uh, okay, Star Citizen. <laughs> UK didn't. Um, CRG are, are... I mean, they were back last week, but... Um, this was a good... I I don't know how to start this, honestly. They're... they're what do you, they what do you talk about? In, oh, look, I was saying earlier... That since COVID, I'm having a really tough time with words, and this is like this is like perfect mm. example of it. I used Brain to, be, fog. I think, very good at spinning, like s s attaching words, saying the other. sentences with words, yeah. and vowels and consonants. Yeah, and now sometimes I sometimes even a syllable or two. 
one or two. And now I genu genuinely struggle. Uh, constant con concatenating. Yeah. Cassidy is failing. Mm. Strokes having to David. Um, <laughs> I liked this episode of ISC. I thought it was good. I yes. was very happy to see Mark Avent again. <laughs> Honestly. I was, I was great, like... Looks great. Yeah, I was really happy to see Mark. It was it was nice. Um, he's um, I, I think he's pretty high up at CIG now on the on yeah. the software engineering side. Um, anyway, with good bloody reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I like and and we'll we'll go through some of the videos and talk more in detail on what they're doing with Arena Commander and stuff. I like that they've they've put together this team to focus on Arena Commander and give it some love and make sure that it is adequately representing the game mm -hmm. the, the, the person's in the universe um i think I, I i should have looked it up beforehand but i did also see something this week saying that while not cancelled theaters of war is not currently in development mm -hmm. which made me sad um i i still think that that's and maybe maybe CIG know this. Maybe they don't think it's the right time. I, I mean, it would probably be better to do this closer to Squadron or PU's release. But I still think Theaters of War would make a very, very good um, entry point for a lot of people into Star Citizen. Yeah. Um, I, I can't, like, <clears throat> I really hope that Theaters I mean... of War isn't... Yeah, go ahead. Even if the PU's in beta, it's a good time for them to release Theatres of War, be it free to play with uh, uh, what the fuck do they call that? Oh god, you're right about fucking COVID. Uh, microtransactions, so you yeah. can buy some shit, something like that, just just so people can do that. Same with Arena Commander, and then if you have got the Persistent Universe, it's just kind of thrown in there as well. But then you've got to worry about balancing shit because if people have got the PU, have got access to whatever and people who don't and just play it as a free-to-play game yeah they have to buy shit that, that's a that's a balance issue to start with but it, it's a great advertising tool um Eric? i just wanted to respond to sargra there i i don't think that they're really devoting much focus to arena commander um they made pretty clear in the episode and that the the team that's working on this is small and um they, I I don't think I I think it's only a few people. I don't I don't, I don't think, think it's a that major this is resource the redirection yeah. in any way. I I wouldn't I don't think this has anything to do with Squadron Forty Two or like moving resources that they have elsewhere. I th I genuinely think that AC is just a an important tool that has been underused yeah. by CIG that they they need to start using more. Um, yeah. in in the same vein as I think Theaters of War would be an excellent. And and sure, I, I I actually disagree with the microtransactions. I think they make it free to play. Three maps, like a couple ships, nothing mm -hmm. like just what's there. And I think it would well, be a great by that time what's there will be way more. Well no no no, but like they Don't limit get... it, right? I... You need to have oh, no, something no, that's I... gonna that's offset at least some of those yeah. server costs. I think what well I think I think his idea is he use it Otherwise as, we as the it. I think I think what you what, what he's saying is that you use it as a loss leader to bring people into Star Citizen. Yeah. You'd be like, hey, come in here, you can play this thing, and then you can play a huge amount more of it if you pay, give us money. Try this. You could, like we've got like what they were doing was they had a it couple of maps. Awesome, they had a couple of maps. They had a couple of ships on each map, and like the loadouts for each map was static and they could change it around but like you'd always be like this is the hornet that you fought and that's and give, give, i mean i can that's see a good I, way... I, I, I can see where you're coming from for sure it's not a bad idea if you look on it on the surface but you've got to look at it also from cig's point of view of that is a hole that is a money sinkhole that yeah you we to see if it people in the pu works. will be supporting off our backs and if it and gets I think... to a point where you know, it's costing them so much money to run it, but it's not bringing in anyone. 
Well, it's and, dead. and then They're yeah, and it. then you're right. It's dead. Kill, they kill it, or they add the microtransaction thing, like you're saying. But I think I think you might. I think free fly weeks do really well. I think free fly free fly weeks are a problem because the persistent universe takes a lot to get into. I think something yeah. like theaters of war, or or uh, arena commander gives you a lot quicker an idea of what the game is and what you can do and i don't know anyway yeah that... yeah yeah and i i think if it's a free-to-play module as is brilliant but and and you know let, let, let's take arena commander as uh the, the base for this you know if you just go free to play you get access to those three starting ships the uh, um sh- the brick bastard aurora uh 300 and the hornet and base loadouts <laughs> and that's what you can do but if you the Buy brick with bastard. That's its new the name. <laughs> the Aurora's brick. The, the brick. <laughs> uh, you know, that's great for just playing in oh. starting it, but if you want to just stick with Arena Commander and then buy something with real life money, not obviously not much because it should be a micro transaction, a fiver, a five quid for something, and then six quid for a ship, something like that just to keep it alive so people who just want to play shooty shooty in space can do so and it's offsetting some of the cost and then people are going to be like oh i'm i'm persistent universe curious i would i would agree to that i think you're right that it should be really cheap uh but i also think that if you bought hey dan if you bought let's say you bought a freelancer to fly in arena commander you've paid three bucks to have it access to it in arena commander one you should be able to get that access with either real money or um, uh, yeah, yeah. UEC. And two, if you paid yeah. real money for that, uh, you, if you buy that ship in the PU, like if you buy a pledge for that a, ship, you get a discount, discount from what you... Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. I think that would make a lot won't of happen, sense. happen, but absolutely should be like that. <laughs> or even a you know or even a discounted um like so if you're if you're trying to convert people from a uh free to play customer to a um um uh, like a persistent universe customer you could even say like well if they've purchased anything in the free to play then they get a discount on their game yeah. package. Mm-hmm. And I could see that yeah. happening for sure. Um yeah. anyway, I would hope but I don't think it would. Yeah, I don't think so either. And it, but I, I think that Arena Commanders what I was I think I was trying to say this but got just sidetracked. Um I think the important no it, it, don't, don't apologize. Sidetracks are good. I think the important thing about Arena Commander, and I think the reason that they're starting with racing is racing's really popular in Star Citizen. It's one of the few thi- like it's a it's a huge thing, and I think it's a really important thing. But it's also enormously time consuming because if you crash, you gotta respawn at wherever you spawned, and it can, it'll take you know fifteen twenty minutes to get back to your track. Arena Commander, you can practice, you can run races in Arena Commander. They're gonna like, I don't, I I think it's really important that they fix it up and that it that it be yeah. um, pu um, accurate. And I'm really glad they're doing it. David, yep, we we have videos. And yes, we do. Showing those videos. You're right. I should be. Let's move over to those. Um, let's. I was. I mean, we're we're gonna. There's a video about this, but they are. I was really impressed that they are basically taking a dozen like fan made tracks, and they are going to be putting them into Arena Commander. Yeah. Um, that's a good amount of racing. Uh, you know, <laughs> like. It's a lot of options. There, there's a couple things there that I think were really important takeaways from this episode. One is they said it was really or reasonably easy for them to do this port of yeah. like real world locations into um, Arena Commander, which is really cool. Um, that's really important because like the 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 Star Citizen racing scene is entirely fan started basically right like fans picked racetracks and that's it they found racetracks and that the cig have like 
updated them a couple times in places, but yeah. like, and they've they've tried to support it, but uh, but it was instigated, instigated and driven as as Sargrath said by uh... yeah. <laughs> hey Darsh, um, hey Darsh. But I think the, that uh... what they were saying, the ability for them to easily pull in new stuff and have it update easily opens the door for there to be more than just 12 like their current plan is 12 but that's not saying that 12 is all it'll ever get i think it's saying that as people find good racetracks we can add them oh yeah we might get to 13 in a couple of years oh crazy there um I also wanted to point this out because I was wondering this while watching the show, and it's uh, this this episode actually left me with a lot of questions. Honestly, one of my questions was they were talking about the racetrack that's currently in there, and how yep. um, it's currently it's on a planet, but you fly like you're in Atmo, so they're changing that by moving it to a planet. Mm, no, yeah, currently. Currently, it looks like it's on a planet, but it flies like it's flies like it's atmosphere. in. Sorry, I said in atmo, not out of atmo. Um, yeah. Flies like it's out of atmosphere. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I found it really interesting because they were like, "Yeah, we're just putting the planet under it. This is a planet that we haven't heard of that yep. they just have that they're putting under there. They that have that an planet. Interesting, that was a really interesting thing for me too. Is they're like, "Yeah, the planet's." There we there. we have it. We it's it was Earth cool. all along. They did say it was they did they did say it was Earth like. So there you go. But that's that's um, a planet that we've never heard of that they apparently have ready enough that they can just put into a uh, Assassin's Creed. I mean, Arena Commander. Has he been like this all year so far? Yes. My God, you you got really hit bad by that, didn't you? Assassin's I'm... Commander. AC every I I say AC and I always Arena think Assassin's Creed. Creed. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was really interesting. Is that an extra planet that they've like got ready to go? Also, I mean they they've got the planet making you know just making a ball in space down quite well and getting yeah. in there and adding detail so you can run around assassinating people. I was also taking this time. I was also wondering, like, oh no, so, is my internet dying? Yeah, stream is freezing. Uh, I can. Mm -hmm. y you look totally fine on Discord, but the stream just started freezing. She's chugging. Um, good old Twitch. Stream yeah. quality is good. Not dropping frames. No, uh, it, it's, they... probably, it's probably on Twitch's end. I'm gonna try refreshing. That's Twitch's end, not mine. Mine's good. Weird. Sorry. Uh, Sargrass um, says it seems okay now. Okay. So that's good. Um, anyway, I, I think that's that's interesting. They were also saying that you could just fly down to that planet and fly around it. So I uh, I wonder how much of that planet's in there. Uh, probably not very much. Um, they'll have a boundary on the level. Yeah, I just so, I I want to fly down and like a few probably like ten or so kilometers in every direction, ten or fifteen. Yep. Um, miles. sure. Did you did you watch the uh, the show this week? I caught a good chunk of it, and then also problems focusing, and I am yeah got a lot to do in a very short amount of time. What were your like chief takeaways from the episode that you that you thought of? Oh my god! Finally, they're doing something to Arena Commander. I fucking love Arena Commander. <laughs> I, uh, I was, yeah, I, I was so excited because I'm like, I would love to play Arena Commander again. I would spend mm -hmm. a lot of time in there, and I was thinking that we could do some of that on this show because it'd be a blast to play some Arena Commander again. I got I got my hotess over there. Perfect. I haven't got anywhere to put it, but it'd be fun. <laughs> Just um, put it on your lap, I'm... and then you can drive it around on stream, and it'll look very interesting. <laughs> Would you like me to wiggle my joystick for you? <laughs> um, the, I, I don't think they said it directly, but they were hinting at the way to set up matches and saying about, oh, we're going to bring in all these other ships. I'm wondering whether or not 
maybe without fucking around, we can bring in something like a Connie, something like a Retaliator, and just have all the players just start on that ship, and that's the ship that we're going to use in a swarm or whatever. That could, that's what I'm hoping. That would be amazing. I don't know if that's going to happen. And then, but then it also raises up the question of: Are we going to be glued to our seats, um, like we're watching a Monica Bellucci movie, or we are we going to be before. able to get up? And well, yeah, but yeah, you also had to fuck around before. And whether or not they're going to bring in the full engineering gameplay as well, and how much you're going to be able to actually do? Would you be able to do combat warfare practice? Would you be able to do engineering warfare? I well, think they have to practice. I, 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 I that's a good, Monica Bellucci dodge nator. That's a good point, sure, but I, I do think that that's something that they have to do. Like, groups are going to want to practice on really big ships, on Idrises, and how groups work together on a large ship, and you're not going to be able to do that in the Persistent Universe once Death of a Spaceman is in, because you will die. I mean, I, I can't see them bringing something like an Idris in, but at the same time, they fucking should, and the game should respond and give you something of an appropriate challenge for an Idris. Because you need to practice that if death, when Death of a Spaceman is in, because <laughs> yes, you please. take out your Idris and you're suddenly like, I don't know what to do here, guys. Let's just yep. press some buttons and figure out what happens, and oh, it's dead. And And you should be able to select what your opponent is right you should be able to say yeah we're going to take this ship we're all going to be in it and then we're going to fight this is wave one this is wave two we don't care about a wave three right like give us give us all those options let us choose exactly what to to fight yeah. against i want i mean you know i want to practice with my ion i want to practice taking out saber ravens because they're really tiny, and I want to get really good at shooting with my ion. Not at not yeah. at capital ships, at the the tiny little fuckers. It also kind of feeds on into what we were talking about earlier, where people who are streaming this, it's a form of free advertisement for the game. Oh yeah, um, you know a lot. Dan, I'm with you. I I Quick, said get earlier up, Dan, that he's with you. <laughs> I said earlier that I had a couple of questions. One of my questions was, okay, they're talking a lot about AC and they're talking a lot about racing and they're not talking at all about Star Marine. At all. Yeah, they did. They yeah, talked about they Star Marine. No, they talked about Star Marine to say that Star Marine is being moved into the same menu and it's all going to be in one menu under Arena Commander and mm -hmm. they'll have more to say about Star Marine in the future. They didn't really... Yeah. It's because they're not working on it right now. I'm my I guess. know, but honestly, Star Marine kind of doesn't matter until. Actually, I don't know. I think they're a little shy on doing too much with FPS until they get all the features in from the Squadron team, because Squadron is doing so much work on FPS right now. It's kind of like we're gonna have to redo everything we do. They, it, that is true <clears throat> and, and they should wait until the squadron stuff is locked down but I think that it's really important for them and honestly they could use a good mode in Arena Commander, a good first person mode in Arena Commander to test the balance of uh, squadron you... Expanding on Nakara's thought then do you think that that means that with this uh, look at Arena Commander, which is mostly focused on ship combat, that they're at a state where they're happy with the flight mechanics and the in-space combat mechanics enough to say, okay, this is near the final version at the very least. This is what people can now expect. Or do you think it's just lining up with the PU current time and then it's just going to be far easier for them to, uh, because they've updated AC to be easily integrated with PU stuff that it's just, okay, we can still keep iterating and ugh, fuck it, ugh, copy paste. I think that ships that's have how had game a, dip works. I think ships have had a lot more work done to them over the years um, than yep. uh, FPS has in the Persistent Universe. I think there's a lot more that's already fairly close to done, especially if they um, 
like they're pretty close i think with the new um uh flight mechanics basically um but i don't i don't think the new flight mechanics or as I understand them anyway, are going to change... Well, I guess they change... The SCMs, like, the speeds lower a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, they, they're changing the speed quite a bit so that you're closer in combat because they want you to be closer in combat so that yes. you can hit hit individual parts of a ship easier. But I think, like, they're close to that change, and they're also... Oh, yeah, we they were think, well on the way. Yeah. We think they're also close to the armor overhaul, which both of those things... Close. They've been close to that for a long time, I know. I feel like an asshole, but they've been talking about doing armor since, like, 2015? Yeah, I think I remember... I think I remember transcribing them in reverse the verses, talking about re... like, overhauling the armor, honestly. So... Do you remember that? I'm not sure if it was a Citizen Con video, or just a random video where they just had this Gladius, and they just had a Gatling gun, and they oh, showed yeah. how the yep. skin yep. was responding. That that was all meant to be part of the armor. I mean, that, that happens now. That happens. Yeah, now? How many now. years ago yeah. was that? Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I like, know. I, I'm, not trying to be, I'm not trying to be that guy, but, you know, in... Yeah. Where's my fucking armor, CIG? Yeah, anyway, I... I, 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 uh, I, I they, haven't, they haven't touched much on ship armor in a long time. So, <laughs> I I think <laughs> fair enough. Uh, the the one the one thing that I will say is I don't think those changes are going to be as difficult for them to implement in Arena Commander because they're just taking like like they said they want to make it a lot easier to just pull in the ships that they want. Yeah, right. And the armor changes are going to be like. I mean, it's it's a lot on the ship level, but it's it's. I don't think that's going to change much for Arena Commander. Like they don't have to do as much to bring those changes into Arena Commander. Is my thought. Um, mm -hmm. They did talk about how they're going to overhaul um, the flash stuff with building blocks, which is good. Um, one thing that they talked about that I personally really dislike is they were saying that they're going they're doing away with the multiple different menus. Everything is under Arena Commander, and then there's Star Marine maps, or Arena Commander maps, or Racing, and you've got that giant list of maps. I, I personally think that giant list of maps looks like ass. Um, I don't think it looks great either. Uh, they did have a big like work in progress banner over it, so I'm assuming it's not going to be like that in, at the end, but I don't, I don't think it looks I don't think it looks like ass. I mean, Some asses can be quite appealing. I was gonna say, but um, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <clears throat> uh, I don't. I didn't really like the way that it it uh, was displayed. No. Um, I'm just I, assuming since they had the big work in progress banner over it that it was not done. Yeah, yeah, I just I I like there to be a breakdown in my game types. I don't want all of the maps lumped in in one list. Like that's. I'm sorry, but that's an eyesore. Anyway, um, they're redoing a bunch of stuff for Dying Star to make it work better. That's good. What else we got? Uh, oh, yeah, we talked about um, Racing Revisited. Um, Sorry, it's just the Dying Star with that AI there. Even the AI are like, why are we here? <laughs> just kill me. <laughs> um, so I really like this video. Um, is this the one? That's the last video, actually, that I really like. Um, ooh, that was a crazy explosion. Anyway. Um, the racing stuff is pretty cool. They had some really good video of the, ra of the racing uh, segment of this. Man, the Phantom Ball looks the cool. Man. The planet underneath looks cool. I like that they showed what it used to look like, too. They're like, yeah. oh, that looks a little better. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> My again, my my thoughts go to like you're you're talking about how easy it is for you to pull chunks of the object containers and chunks from the persistent universe and just plop them into Arena Commander. And my first mm -hmm. thought of it is, okay, so this planet's done, and you're just pulling a chunk of it. 
and plopping it in Arena Commander. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Yep. You bastards. But Why are they bastards for doing that? Because they've got so much more done than I think anyone knows about or that they've told us about, and they ah, can't yes. do anything with any of it. Until, until server until meshing. server meshing's done, yeah, I know. Yeah, um, this is uh, this is what Planet Three in the Ellis system, I think they said. Yeah. Um, I haven't even heard any rumors of them working on Ellis. I am surprised that they have anything for Ellis, but um, clearly they do. They seem to just be saying that they it was something they already had. So cool. Like, what does That's that awesome. mean? Does that mean you're done parts of Ellis? Probably. Parts of it, at least. Anyway. Um, almost certainly not all of it, because, they, they, you know, there's a lot to making a planet, but... Pretty cool, though. No, but it's it's interesting that we have I haven't... know someone who could do it in seven... Well, six days. <laughs> wow. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, man. Such a fucking stupid <laughs> phrase as well. Rome wasn't built in a day. Who the fuck thought Rome was built in a fucking day? How fucking stupid is that person? Going, oh, they built Rome, this entire capital city, in a day, you know. No, they fucking didn't. Fuck off. Go and get educated, you... Sorry. You were saying. <laughs> I, recently, I recently heard an interesting explanation of, like, like... That's saying uh, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be like, oh, it's a really hard thing to do. But it's it's not about how hard it is. It's more about, well, you have to find that needle because, like, animals eat haystacks and kids play in haystacks. And if you've got a rogue needle in there, someone can get seriously injured by that needle. And it's it's not about how hard it is to find, but it's about, like... The import I don't know I it... the importance of finding it yeah and I thought that was really interesting like there's there's different lights to all these like to a whole bunch of of, of sayings that maybe we yep. just we just now, don't think about in the right way like I, I need a really 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 powerful magnet and I'm good <laughs> <laughs> that's that too. <laughs> Just put the haystack through an MRI machine. We're gold. <laughs> Get sucked right out of there. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Um, yes, I like this video as well. There are a couple things I wanted to talk about in this video. One, I want to ask CIG why they're racing so many Saber Ravens. Because I noticed that there were a lot of Saber Ravens Probably. in these clips. Probably one of the dudes who was like making clips of them is like, I love this ship. And that was that's like the total explanation. I know, but could they fix the ship? And two, I noticed no. a lot of. I really liked that they included some clips of reclaimer racing. Oh my I goodness! Know, Don't do that. Hi, Paul. Hi, Pub. Hello, everyone. Hey. Uh, Hello, Raiders. You, we apologize Astro. in advance. We're nowhere near as good as Astro. Yeah, you're the the um. The quality that you are watching is about to drop significantly, and for that, we apologize. But hi! I think uh, you'll find it's pronounced C-I-G-nificantly. <laughs> wow, that was horrible. I love it. Welcome back, Shiver. You got us. Doesn't get any better than that, I'm afraid, everyone. Oh, boy. That was it. We peaked. Oh. We're done. <laughs> I really love the, the oh. shot of the um of the racetrack that's over the river in Microtech. So cool. Yes, please. That I don't care if Eris hates the fucking constellation. He's blind as a bat. That I even though I know bats aren't blind. It's fine. Blind as a mole. That idiot ship is so fucking cinematic, man. That shot, these shots with the constellation. They look so good. I, I, I agree no. with you, Shiver. He hates it. it. Is what it is. It's a bad ship. It's a bad looking ship. I love the racing shots with the the MSR no. too. Like, oh my I love, god, mm. I what love cool this right thing. here. 
Reclaimer racing, yes, that is that is. I mean, that makes everyone should day. be racing reclaimers. That's the only ship that should be allowed. <laughs> Can you imagine watching that? It's like it's been an hour. It's due any minute now. <laughs> Wait for lap one. We're, we got it's a 400 lap race and we're waiting for lap all right we've got 24 hours we can go and have a sleep now and we'll catch it <laughs> racing version of reclaimer when <laughs> you know what i can totally see it instead of the big chomping bay underneath they they put a gigantic engine in there with a big thruster that comes out the bottom it just goes <laughs> No, that's I ludicrous speed. I I would I still would really like to see like a combat <sighs> variant of the reclaimer that like the the claw reaches in and pulls out a giant sword and just goes ah and cuts it in just in half. Oh, actually, um, oh, I'm not going to pronounce the first syllable of that. <laughs> Cannon fodder has brought up a good question. Have they said anything about official? ground racing at all or is it all just uh ship stuff at the moment everything they've shown was all ship stuff they don't seem to have ground vehicles in here at all yet um but i it's kind of hard for me to believe they won't because mm. ground racing is a thing in star citizen um so i think it's just sort of i think i think they're, they're again one of the things it's a small team it's not a very big team yeah. Um, so they gotta kind of they can't do everything all at once. They got they have to focus. Uh, um, boy named Doll. I I love the idea of a spoiler on the back of the reclaimer. That's just a giant like like oversized too. I was thinking a <laughs> tiny one would be hilarious. <laughs> just like six feet long. <laughs> this is a little tiny spoiler on the top of the reclaimer. Bike racing with jumps would be <laughs> very good. <laughs> Oh, but all of these, but, all um, of these new racing maps look amazing, and I'm excited to play all of them. Dan, one thank of the you for that they've. Oh, sorry. After you. Oh, what one of the things they've been saying since before racing was even in any shape or form in the game outside of players having initiative was uh, weapons free racing. When, please. Well, I mean, yeah, no shit. Isn't eh? isn't the Daymar Rally weapons free because it's inverse? Yeah, but that that that's also players. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it would it would be nice. I I think there's the. the and I'm, I'm going to stand a chance. I'm hoping that they'll that some of the updates, sorry, to to things like building blocks will give them these opportunities to start adding more more player customization to a, both arena commander matches and races, um, like giving us ability to choose the ships that we're against giving us ability to choose uh free fire or not for the races to limit the ships that can compete in a race so you can have like tiers of ships like but it all needs to be open so that we can do those selections so that you can boot up an arena commander lobby with 16 people and limit those 16 people to just one ship and only the reclaimer and I've, you can have, you know, a real race. I hope that they are talking or at least taking in and acknowledging what the people who organize the Daymar Rally are doing and taking some examples yeah. from that because, you know, players are already one step ahead of CIG on this. It needs I'm to sure be there considered what, what they're doing and seeing what the CIG can do with actual I mean, official tools to support this and make it easier for people who do like to organize their own races as CIG well. CIG have, have always been really really good at listening to mm. and and taking um, like taking hits from the player base in that you know there was a time when we needed to do transcripts because everything was long and nothing was in text and now guess what? They have monthly summaries and they have you know short enough videos that you can understand them and like Operation Pitchfork and the Daymar Rally and like they 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 have consistently listened hmm. to and followed what players are doing, which is which is great, I think. Um, I want to jump back to so Dan Gronlund says, considering how many ships crash when racing 
a reclaimer cleaning up the racetrack should be mandatory. Maybe that not would a reclaimer. Be amazing. Maybe not, I'm gonna switch us back to this just because the same thing on repeat is bothering me at least. But um, maybe not a reclaimer, but definitely some what vultures. There oh, should for be sure that. vultures. For sure vultures, and there should be um, <clears throat> definitely they need to add some. Um, once they make the goddamn ship, the repair ship. Yep. Um, Vulcan. And um, no, no, nope. the Crucible, the Crucible, and uh, and the Toad Truck as well. All yep. three of them. And they, they should be, be those. like they should be like hanging around the freaking racetrack like vultures. And I know uh, <laughs> they 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 actually did that at the Daymar Rally this year. They had Starfarers. Uh, um, I can't remember the name of the organization that did it, but they had a couple Starfarers flying around. I think Darge was part of it. Correct me if I'm wrong, Darge. I apologize if I am. But they had a couple of, of um, Starfarers flying around ready to refuel people as part of the Daymar Rally, which is which is great. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Um, one thing I was thinking, though, because we were talking actually before the show about how one of the one of the things that's great about this revamp of arena commander is no longer having to worry about dying while you're practicing and it taking 20 minutes to get to the track you'll be able to just practice in arena commander but one thing that they actually i think are going to need and i think will happen once they have it is like medical ships on site as well like we've got repair refuel yep. salvage and medical on on site as well so that you're not spawning for an actual race like the daymar rally like an event you're not spawning way way back if something happens you can yeah, spawn absolutely. at a medical tur- like place right there which i actually think it shouldn't even be a ship i think it should just I'll be, be um, right back I, I i think there should just be like a little hospital right beside the racetrack <laughs> that's my opinion um Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe we we haven't really got the equivalent of a um, a capital hospital ship. I mean, we've got the Endeavor, but the Endeavor is also a bit of a mishmash, jack of all trades thing. Perhaps at some point, basically a massive mobile hospital ship that can just be landed on the side of the racetrack, and then people who do things like the Daymar Rally can just literally go, "We found this planet." This is Planet Formula One. And then just move on. <laughs> Almost like a traveling racing circus, I guess. That's pretty cool. I love it. I love it. You could you could it, it's you could do so much uh with the amount of freedom that is going to be uh potentially in the final version of PU of literally, you know, the Banu why? Merchman just turns up, puts his shop up next are... to the racing track. That's why sandboxes are amazing. That's why there's mm. such cool things to do to play in because if you build we've talked we've talked about this a million times and we've beaten it to death but if you build gameplay systems rather than specific gameplay um you can get a lot out of player made entertain like they can make their own entertainment if you know what I mean yeah mm. Uh, um, one one thing I wanted to bring up, actually, uh, Shiver, you make a really good point about the Endeavor in that we've got a really large hospital ship in the Endeavor. But where do you really need a hospital ship? Uh, war. In a war zone. Yeah. The Endeavor is not a war zone ship. Yeah, but well, it could be. Hospital things it, it, on the front lines either. No, but you've got, I don't, like, Misk is not a warfare brand. Like, you, I feel like you'd need, like, an Anvil or Aegis, like, I mean, they have, not they have front line. Facility. They have hospital but, like, facilities on a lot of the big capital ships. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I wonder if, like, I don't think the, like, an Idris's yeah, hospital but... facilities are good enough to service. Like, I mean. You've got you have yeah, got know. the Apollo, like Daj said as well, but it, it's also it, it's not huge scale medical ship. But then, would you want to risk putting a huge scale medical ship? You know, something that's the size of the Carrick, the Endeavor, the Hully, that sort of area, even close to a war zone. 
I think the UEE would, yeah. I think the UEE would have, like, maybe not for players, but for the UEE, the UEE should have a medical ship that is able to maybe not be on the front lines, but be just behind them to service Idrises and Bengals and Javelins and all those other ships that have small ones, but can't deal with a massive event. Surely something like a Javelin Upwards has got its own medical stuff that's going to be adequate enough for that, surely. Surely the Bengal at the very least. Bengal maybe. Bengal maybe. But like an Idris, or like, I don't know how many hospital beds an Idris or a Javelin would have, but I can't imagine it's more than like two or four. But if you've got like an 80-person crew and that 80-person crew are hurt, four medical beds isn't enough. You've got a point, because, I mean, the Galaxy-class Enterprise-D uh, ship of, oh, crew of, like, oh, God, I used to know this, six, seven hundred, something like that, no, uh, only over, had, like, eight medical it's over, beds. It's over a thousand. Over a thousand. <clears throat> yeah. Um, they didn't, but they didn't have just eight medical beds. They had eight medical beds in the one room that they showed. Don't the ruin the joke! They only had one bathroom as well! Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. I, I, and, and Sargroth, you're right, like, they might get attacked but that's why i think we need some like i i that's why i'm saying an endeavor wouldn't be enough you need a medical facility with the armor of a terror like like david i don't know yeah i think you're gonna see i think you are gonna see the endeavor the hope version of the endeavor used in war um i think it will sit have at least half a system back from the front lines and the reason i think that is that misc does misc does do military ships the starfair has a military op, uh, variant um and we you may never see a player do this but i think the uee would like to have a full hospital ship the giant one somewhere near the front lines i um, my only thing is, I don't think that I still don't think that that's the endeavor, even the hope variant, because even the hope variant only has I don't remember like sixteen beds or something. I would say at this point and room we for don't two know. cutlasses. I, I, I would say yeah. at, the, at this point we don't know what the endeavor has because it's been so long since it's concepted. It's not going to look anything like that when they make it. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh man. I mean, um, but if you look at Wing Commander. For an example, uh, you know, old, old old game. I know. I'm sorry, but they did have a dedicated medical ship. I think the Exeter class, which was a corvette, and that was you know being thrown around on the front lines in the Kilrathi War. So it it's not out of the question for something like that to be there. Chris, you know, Chris has set an example of this kind of thing, and. I suppose if it is completely dedicated to medical facilities, a Corvette-sized ship would be adequate. You don't want to be losing that many pilots anyway to warrant something bigger. Yeah, I just I think that we might have to see one of those. Hmm? Uh, Dan, you know what? The Endeavor, it's going it's to be grow. Massive. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be Endeavor si- or Bengal size, but it's. Uh... I've always said thought grow. that it was. Ba- I, I've always basically thought that it was a mobile space station, and yeah, I, it's going to get a hell of a lot bigger than it is right now. Um, yeah. I don't know exactly how big it's going to be, but it's. Uh, that's. I mean, I know it's like super ridiculously far in the future, but I'm. I'm. Uh, it's probably the ship I'm most excited to actually see completed because it is. Such a cool ship, especially the front shiver. I want to see the big freaking um, observation dish that they have concepted. Yeah. That freaking thing. That would yeah, be amazing. I mean, the front section of the Endeavor is basically the Another Misk ship. Odyssey. It's the Misk Odyssey. I know, just about. Which is, I love it. Cannot wait. So, Uh, David. Hospitals, yes. Are we playing some game, or would you like to theorycraft for another half hour? 
I don't know. I think that's up to chat if they want to see if they have questions or want us to theory craft right. or if we should hop in. The Someone tell us what to do. The 103 people currently watching. What are we doing? Should we play some Star Citizen or should we? Uh, oh, you said it now, Eric. It's 101 now. Oh no! Play Stargirth wins. Okay, we're in. That was fast. The PTU or lot. Uh, let's do PTU. I'm done launching. I am going to launch as well. Yeah, we we've we've mostly been sticking to three eighteen. I'm I'm. Oh, great! It's doing this again. Launcher update. Um, so far I'm really really liking three eighteen. It's uh, it's good. It's I'm, I'm sorry, what's this about the Drake Leviathan? I've been out of it for a while. T do tell someone. Uh, I don't know about that one, honestly. I do tell. Don't know. Maybe somebody in chat knows. If it's a leak thing, I, I stay away from leaks. Oh, oh, is it just, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Good luck, Sagareth, with both. All right. Ooh, uh, ouch. Okay, let's get this going. Uh, Star Citizen is currently processing my entitlement. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, damn. It's the Death Star. Well... I mean, if Jake had his way. Yeah. Oh, nice. I I don't see why they wouldn't. I I, I know I've said this before, and I'm going to say it many more times, but I still think we need to see what's chasing the Vanduul into UE space. A guy following them saying, Hey, did you know the warranty on your car has expired? <laughs> I don't think anything's <laughs> chasing them. I think that they are a nomadic race that has a bunch of different tribes and they basically need resources because that's what they do. Is they steal stuff. Yeah. Um, they they could they're be like, the thing. They're that like, hey, I'm going to steal the stuff that's right over here. And that was That's the extent of it. It could be, but I, just, I don't. I don't think it's going to be that simple. Why not? I don't know why. Hmm? Sometimes simple works best. Maybe they're Sometimes. running away from COVID. No? Okay. David just ignored me. That's, that's I, good. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at different things. I mean, I, I wish we could. I wish we could run away from it. Um, yep. I don't know. I, I've been thinking that ever since a lot. Like, at one point, Chris was talking about how the story of it is based on the Roman Empire and the the Gothic tribes attacking Rome. Yeah, they weren't and my being chased by anything. They 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 just went. You know what? I heard that got built uh, built in a day. Let's ruin it in less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anybody got a torch? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. But, I mean, um, what's the... The Kathak? Is it the Kathak? That's fucking... Yeah, it's the Kathak. It's the Kathak is that it? are on the far side of Vandal space. Yeah, they've given themselves some wiggle room for story there because that's a mysterious, enigmatic race that the Shijan aren't letting people really talk to. We haven't even really had much uh, communication yeah, uh... with Dijan, apart from those four teenagers and their pet rat. <laughs> oh, we've had communication with the Dijan. <laughs> Not much. Miss, Not Miss much. Have, Misk have partnered with them for ship tech on all of the ships except yeah, now what's the up Freelancer. With that? What's up with that? There's a story there. Like, mm, why? Why Misk? What's going on there? Because they uh, 
were like, hey, you got cool stuff. We want cool stuff. We're going to sell the cool stuff to the humans. Well, I think it's because originally CIG were like, yeah, we're going to have the engines on the Freelancer rotate, and it's going to be a much oh better God. ship with Xeon tech. And then they were like, fuck all that. We're going to make the Freelancer horrible. The word Freelancer is banned from this uh, show from the, for the next month. <laughs> yeah good luck enforcing that good luck enforcing that we just need like a, we need a button to be able to bleep uh david every time he says freelancer to bleep <laughs> oh man wasn't it the hull series that interested the sean was it the hull very, series very possibly well, don't. Uh, but didn't we see? Oh God! Why? Why can I picture uh, a Jean transport ship that was vertical? You because well, we there is that. one. Yeah, it exists. There is it's one. the. Oh. Isn't that the? Is that the Rylan? No. No. I think they're making. That's one. the. But there, there is. I mean, there are lots of concept images of a of a very yeah. large uh, vertical cargo ship. Um, yeah. Uh, for um, for the Xeon. Um, David, are you in the same server as me? I don't know. We're going to find out. Cool. I'm going to invite you to a party. Invite I don't to think... party. Uh... You've been invited. I don't know if we're in the same server. Did you get my invite? I did. But I don't okay. see you. <laughs> We have created party. Uh, huh. See if you can well, join on me. Well, you may have to join on me, but we'll we'll see how that works. Uh, just a second. Uh, exit to menu. Yes. I don't, uh, look, I want to say it's been eight years. Mm -hmm. It's been. Oh, sorry, bare naked lady stuck in my head. Um, it's been like eight years that we've been doing this. Yep. Ten years of Star Citizen. There are eleven billion ships. I'm not gonna lie when I say that I'm genuinely having trouble remembering all the ships in Star Citizen at this point. I've had to, I've had trouble remembering them all for a few years now. Like, there's a few that, that, that somebody mentions them, and I'm like, oh, right, right, they made that. that. Shit. Huh. Yeah. Or, or, uh, oh, right, that's supposed to exist and will probably be made someday. Maybe. <laughs> like, like the Pegasus. <laughs> oh, that I'm concept sure. is still really good, though. I'm just here wanting the Zeus. Your server's yeah, full, good. and I'm waiting for a spot in it. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will hop out, and we will hop in together. I okay. didn't see the like right. add friend thing. All right. Anyway, I'm going in. Are you, did it drag you in? No, I just I just hit exit to menu, so I don't know what's happening. Oh shoot! Sorry, it said you were in menus, so I thought that it was out already. Well, we'll see if it'll drag you in or not. We will see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Cannot join Serverful. Uh, while yeah. we're we're while we're figuring this out, um, anyone in chat? What ships do you like that are that are in now, and uh, what are you looking forward to most? Be careful, um, if you say the wrong ship, he's going to call you out in public. It's true, I will. And I will tell you exactly why the ship that you like is a horrible ship. Because I have something horrible about almost every single ship. Did it drag you in this time? I'm not going anywhere yet. But I can click join. Nice. We're good. Oh, Hold you on. know deleted user 151012? <laughs> yeah, I know. I have one of those on my friends list too. I don't know why. I think it's probably just a test feature of some kind. 318. To you. I've never installed PTU before. 
to this day in in Star Citizen, and now for three eighteen, I've installed PTU, and honestly, it's it's running really well. I haven't had many problems, and I really like it, and I can't wait for three eighteen to go live because it's fantastic. Um, the Cutlass is a horrible ship. I don't understand why it's round. I don't understand why it gets rotating engines and the Freelancer doesn't. I don't understand why the Freelancer even exists when the Cutlass is there for cheaper. Uh, I hate the Cutlass, and all Cutlasses need to burn in flames. I, I got this uh, Polaris pamphlet, and when I, <laughs> when I open it up, look, 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 someone scribbled all over the front page. Who what did a that? Bunch of jerks. I don't know, terrible, so, terrible behavior. You should e. probably, Roberts. You should probably sue them. Never heard of him. Yeah, I mean, who's that? Probably not. Probably not anyone that matters. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I had. I, I like the Polaris too, and I got number eleven. Number eleven. Back in the day. Back in the day when we put more effort into into all this stuff, I I had like a really nice like um uh thing that goes on a microphone like like to show your organization on a microphone like you see those news newscasters with microphone things. No, and I got one of those made, and a bunch of people defaced mine as well. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's That's terrible. Cool. Any interesting uh, defacement there? I mean, the only one I can read is Sandy. None Fair of the enough. others are legible. At all. Uh, I remember you interviewing people in the crowd with that microphone. It was great times. It was also hot as hell that day. It was, and I was <laughs> in... Oh, the number one thing everyone remembers from that day is it was really hot. That There's something we haven't touched on, is uh, CitizenCon. CitizenCon oh, yeah. 21st, 2023! It's happening again in, in person? person. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've developed a slight anxiety problem over this pandemic. Uh, when in, you know, anything more than outside my house. Um, but I'm gonna try. Oh, that's try my and life, go. mate. I'm gonna try and go. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Between my anxiety on, like, any crowd more than three people and my anxiety about flying, I don't know how well this is going to go. I also don't know if this is loading. Not going to lie. <clears throat> sort of just sitting here. We have seen very little of Aaron, but we've... We've seen he's very he's around, but we've we've seen very little of Aaron of Chris. We haven't seen very much of like Tony. We haven't seen I've very seen much anything of, of Melissa Estrada. <laughs> there it is. We haven't seen Burn away, we, bro. It is. <laughs> we we genuinely haven't seen very much from most of the people working on Squadron, and I think that's because they're not talking about Squadron. They're not getting distracted from Squadron. The entire purpose is they're just... they got to go out nose, there, buy a load of hookers, grindstone. load of blow, forget about the game. That's how they're spending the money, you know? There, there's one I want to know about. Why is nose to the grindstone a metaphor? Um, David? Yeah, I'm in. It looks like you're... Yeah, I was going to say, I can see you. Uh, what ship would you in. like me to summon? Should we go shoot stuff in a bunker or shoot stuff in the sky? Let's see what missions are available. I'd like to do a bunker. I, I want to shoot someone. Okay. I want to go. Uh, pew, better pew. put it in my armor then. The expression uh, initially right. implied punishment or abusive management, forcing the worker into intense work. Oh. Huh. Fair enough. Very popular uh, with Amazon employees. Oh. They talk about it at the bathroom, but they're not allowed to go. I was trying to think of something to say, and thank wow, you. Wow, I like it. 
Alright, so that's gonna go there. Weapons. Uh, David? Yeah. I'm bringing the grenade launcher. Nice. Needs to come along. Oh, that'd be cool, Sagarath. So, I have to say. I have to say. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Did we both just, I have to say? Yep. Nice. After you. We both have to say things. Uh, oh, I was just super happy that it was October 21st because for, st for a citizen con because uh, if it was the first week of October, I probably wasn't going to be able to go, even though I like desperately want to. Um, now with it being October 21st, the chances of me being there are like really high. So, the chances yeah. of me being there definitely went up. Um, my son's birthday is October 6th, and my daughter's is October 16th, which makes hey, there you go. You know, I, I sort of got to be here in October, uh, which is a problem. But, um, yep. Uh, I was going to say, so I've decided to do a thing. Uh, the government of Canada has come out with new recommendations for alcohol consumption. Okay. In that they recommend that you do not consume more than, I think it's two drinks per week. So two beers a week. Um, How big are the beers? I, I mean, not big enough. I mean, does it count honest. if you just get one bucket and just pour loads of beer into the one bucket and then you're like, this is my one drink, I'm good. I wish it did, but I don't think it does. Because I've decided to try and cut down to two drinks a week. I've got a Thursday night drink with some friends, and then I've got a Saturday night drink with some other friends. You know it's that's it. one drink, that's it. But you can't drink more than one and say like, oh, it's alright, it's my one <laughs> drinking night of the week. You, you I know, one sadly. Or something. Sadly. But I'm sticking to the one. You know, it's funny because this might be a weird opinion for me to have, but I don't know how useful a recommendation like that is. Not very. Because every most of the people who drink at all will just be... And this is... come By the way, this is coming from somebody. I... I'm not even sure if I drink once a like even a single drink a month. So I'm not a drinker. <laughs> but if you make that recommendation, most people who drink are going to be like, well, I just won't fucking listen to you at all then. Because I, two drinks for them is like a Monday afternoon. You know? Yep. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even like remotely close to re like something that they would ever follow. All right. I'm here. So you know what's really this. funny? David. What? Um, yeah, can you grab a ship? I yeah. tried to get my... Arm in the car. I tried to get oh. my uh, Redeemer, and it's um, one and a half kilometers up. Oh, that's what I was seeing. That's good. Um, um. But it didn't appear until I summoned it. Weird. Anyway. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Fourteen. All right, there we go. Fourteen. Nice. Hangar fourteen, apparently. Hey, we're both wearing the same armor. Nice. <laughs> we're like a squad. That's very fancy. No, we're not. On it. Are you in? Yep. yep. Oh, we're not wearing the same armor? No. Oh. Oh, they're we're both wearing... red and black. They're not the same, though. Ba -ba -ba. Sir, anyway. do, you, do you need a hand out of there? Hello. You have do you need help? Oh, no, you're good. All right. What? Oh, there's just a dude in the in a weird spot. I'm just talking. I'm I'm talking to NPCs, all right? That's interesting. Sue me. This is what happens when he only has two drinks in a week. Sure. Can you imagine the Irish? 
<laughs> I mean, isn't that like? Well, full disclosure, I am Irish, so. You're Irish you this Italian? week, then you're going to be Italian next week, then you're going to be Canadian the week after. I'm half and half. He gets, half. About, he gets to have opinions about booze, hockey, and pasta? Jesus. I'm Italian and Irish. My diet is wine and beer. <laughs> Apparently not anymore. No, not anymore. Hey, Mr. Uh, no, but that's that, that's cool, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. <laughs> it's all good. I am. <laughs> <clears throat> drinking isn't really good for you so there's no reason to drink more uh... okay can you find us a um, a mission sure I'm going to try and get I us have, out of here um, I know a lot of people who would cringe at this very much but I actually have beer in my fridge from before the pandemic wow <laughs> yeah yeah I would uh, I would be someone cringing at that um Man, I don't even have any we chose an interesting. We chose an interesting time to do a bunker mission. There are like nine service beacons for combat assistance. I mean, we can do that too. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what are we doing here? Search. Uh, uh, where the hell is the bunker mission? Okay, are you going to work? Are we going up? Oh, right. That's not plugged in. Oh, shit, where is it? I don't know if this is going to work. He's trying to use his OTAS. He's like, what? 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> that would do it. I had, to, I, had to, I had to unplug it because it kept triggering in other games where I don't want it to, to uh, trigger. And, yeah. um, yep. But unfortunately, that means it won't work because uh, there you go. it wasn't plugged uh, in when sure. Star Citizen started. Yeah. I had... Sure. um. When I used to leave my hotas plugged oh. in, uh, the analog stick on the throttle would count as its own controller amongst the hotas as well. Oh yeah, that took me a while to figure out. <laughs> um, okay, where is where are we going? Up. Well, I know up. For the first eleven kilometers, all you got to do is go ninety degrees up. I just can't, I can't says, see anything. Even the British Navy gets three cans of beer a day. It's true, I think. But a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do him any harm. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason that people are... Yeah, there's a reason beer is um, given out to people. Um... Yeah, because water used to be too dirty to drink and alcohol... Beer specifically yep. was cleaner, so they used to drink that because it was healthier. It's true. Yep. Um, David? Yep. Our location is on Microtech. Okay. Where you, you um, have to go up into orbit and then find how to get to the spot. I can do that. Also, I'm going to PP. I'm, oh, I'm always you should, like... your, you should put your wings down, eh? You should, whoop, whoop. I never remember how to do that. It's a button. Yeah, I know. But where's the button? There's so many buttons. It's on the keyboard over here. Yeah. Good luck figuring that one. What is it? Name. So disable. Open exterior. Have you tried Alt and F4 or Control and Q? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really dislike how hard it is for me to find buttons on the ships sometimes. I know I'm I'm bad, but like That's one of the reasons that things like voice attack is so useful. Oh because yeah. you can just be like, uh yeah. oh, what's that by okay, and then you can just say um, you know, hey voice attack. Put the bloody wings in. I always forget. Yes, Commander and... David. By the way, your opinions on the freelancer are excellent. <laughs> oh, now it's not letting me. QT. Come on. Come on, game. <laughs> 
Get those engines going. Give me a break here. Oh, that sounds like the engine going. Yeah, we're moving. Oh, I haven't figured out how to put the wings down, Aim. No, can you uh, take over flying for just a moment? Uh, sure. Cool. Just a moment. You gotta jump I need to. I need to be right back. Yep. Points. He's gonna get that second beer of the week. <laughs> be disappointed for the rest of the week. Mm hmm. Oh, the sounds in this thing are amazing. Just start a new week every other bit. <laughs> this operates on a very specific calendar. <laughs> Take care, Dan. Thank you for coming. All right, I'm back. Got and I'm prone. It. Just figured it out. It is left alt and K. K is the is the VTOL button. If you hit oh, yeah. left alt and K, it lowers the wings. <clears throat> we are. 14 kilometers. Sweet. I do really like this ship. Oh, she's a beauty. Love this ship. Okay, where is... 5 kilometers. 7.5 kilometers. Like, I, I don't like... If you look at this... Okay, so... Look, look, I'm looking all around. I don't see any buttons. Oh, but if I get the mouse cursor close enough, then it appears. But if it's not... I don't know. I... Uh, there's, there's some work still to be done, I think. Clearly. <laughs> sure. I, I, think, I think we all know that. Pretty sure we were aware. <laughs> we're all... Uh, yeah, no, you're you're right there though. I mean, there's lots of little things, but um, it's one of those things. This game is always like, wow, there's a lot of stuff that isn't done yet, and then you're like, wow, the stuff that's done is really cool. <laughs> um, okay, are are those turrets going to shoot at us? This is a um, defend occupants. So okay, if it's, defend, if it's defend occupants, I don't think they shoot at us. They're not shooting yet, so I'm going to assume they're not going to. Oh, so we cleared all the hostiles. Oh, nice. Cool. We're done. Woohoo! We finished the mission. Stars. Leave area. You'll be trespassing in 15 minutes. All right, I'm out of here. Hey, we got 7,500 AUEC. Beautiful. All right. That was quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe one of the many co combat beacons. If there's one um, of those. Service beacons, 14 of them. Combat assistance, wow. high. Is there any of them that are, like, not uh, 50 million kilometers away? 38, 38. No, they are all... Oh, wait, this one's 94,000. Oh, that's the one we want. Let's do that one. All right. You jump in a turret. After you share the mission. I have, sh I have it shared it. Beautiful. Um, Corey. What's this shit? We will be this, leaving uh, after shortly. Copilot. Does Copilot have a turret? Or does Copilot just sort of... Oh, yeah. Do I, do I get a turret here? All right. There we go. Excellent. 
Engines are coming online. Uh, do I have... Oh, there we go. Power off. Damn it. Do I have anything as this co-pilot? Or do I just, like, sit here? You might just have MSDs. I'm supposed to have some there are, badger... There are two turrets, like, right behind us. Yeah, I know. I just... I thought that maybe this, you know, this seat would have something, but it doesn't seem to. I'll find another one. I like where the co-pilot seat is. It's cool, but... Uh... There's the left turret and the right turret. Is there like a top turret or a bottom turret? Oh, I'm on the ground. Yeah. I'm working on it, dude. I'm working on it. Frick. You could do that. I have an idea. Okay. I'm currently obstructed from going to directly there, but I'm going to try something. Make it so. Yeah, that worked. Nice. I did a I did a short quantum jump to a different spot and then dropped dropped out of quantum, and now I can go directly to him. I mean, it looks like that should have pretty good. big guns. All right, we're gonna be there in two seconds. And and arrival. You heard my con, that's amazing. I need to there he is. Up okay, now how do I target him there? Come on. All right, let's put some speed into this. Chase that son of a bitch. Cue there chase we go. music. Is that Whoa, chase music? Oh, collision alert. There we go. Ooh, hit, hit us. Ouch. Did they? Yep. That's why we're spinning. Skirt. I didn't look to me like they hit us. Well, the hitbox said we, they hit us. Alright. Okay, I gotta figure out... Oh, come on! Uh, we were right here. I know, but he went and blew by us and hit him. Well, it, it still says protect Is he not him. dead yet? Maybe not dead yet. I got some hits in. He's oh. dead. Nice. Hey, nice. Got 851 AUEC. Not very much. That was, that was fun. Well, yeah, but it took us like not very long. True. All right. Contracts manager. What do we got? I don't think this. Uh, oh, here's one. Seat works. Uh, uh, I got oh. one mission. Well, that's cool. I will Not share I want, the mission but... with you. Okay. Uh, accepted. Share. There you go. Got it. Where are we headed to you now? You know how it said on the other on the remote turret screen? It, it said Badger, Badger. Yeah. Is there another one where it says mushroom, mushroom? No, no, it just says snake. Snake. <laughs> like, who... Eric, can you fire for me for a second? Okay, you control all four. Okay, so I am useless here. So where's that remote turret? There are two turrets in the, oh, it's one, at the back. right and left. Behind us. Oh, I know they're the right and left ones, but they're... Like, they don't have a very good firing angle. Oh, no? Okay. I 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Sargra. It's all you're going to hear for a while now. All right, we'll be there in two seconds. Well, cool. there we go. Oh, We're in. Constellation Andromeda. Okay, here we what? go. We're into it now. That's uh. <laughs> oh, shit. oh no, that's the that's the guy we want to protect. Where the hell's the target? Uh, there it's it is. above Got us. It. Here, here, Yos, Yos, Hero Yasu. Sorry. Come on. Yeah. Oh. That was it? Oh, yeah, we got him. Thanks. Yep, that's it. I think it's funny that the Andromeda couldn't handle that, but all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd think they'd be able to take that one, honestly. <laughs> all right. I'm okay with it, but wow. Yeah. It's uh, when you come up against Brick Bastard, that's when things get a bit hairy. Uh, depends. All right, one more. We have a defend right. occupants mission. Back on Microtech. You want to share? Nah. All right, now I will do that. Cool. Contracts manager accepted. Share. There you go. Got it. Thank you. I've I've collected a couple times. It's I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if I have it or not. I don't care, honestly. Go check um, your contract manager. Okay, there we go. Um Whoa. Game's doing weird things. Um accepted. Defend occupants. Yeah, I got it. All right, Here we let's go. go defend. Let's go defend some occupants. Um, I'm now just Game thinking so about like, pretty. how many years ago was that Badger song? That was like 20 years uh, ago, now, wasn't it? 20 years ago, yeah, a little, maybe 25 years ago. I think it was high school. God, for me, maybe maybe the very beginning of like post secondary. So yeah, it was over 20 years ago. I think. I mean, it better not die. It's it's classic, but it's it's making me think of like some of the early memes that I remember. Oh God, there's so many. Twenty thirteen, like, six of March. Twenty thirteen. Really? That's only ten years ago. I was sure I was in school. Well, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, uh, apparently that's another thing that happens. See, your brain just stops working. Badger well, one. The, this is this is my horse. I liked this is my horse. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that was awesome good. and uh, disgusting, but awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about um, ham? The ham song. Is it ham oh, or don't, is it pork? Don't remember that one. Don't remember that one. It's Weeble and Bob still. Um, banana phone. I think it's pretty old. Yeah. I think if I think back to the first meme that I know of. I can't remember if I if I encountered uh, fine have a nap Zen Pfizer missiles first, or if it was I am a banana. Do you remember the um? That's um. That's um. Oh, what the hell's his name? That's like a that's like a piece of art. That whole yeah, I know video. it was it was amazing. Um, my anus is bleeding. Exactly. My anus is bleeding. Have you never watched this? Oh God, Shiver, never? you gotta watch it. It's so good. No. Oh my um, God. Uh, is it? Re it's rejected cartoons. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, I I remember angry. Don't German crash! Kid. Don't crash us, Eric! Don't crash us, Eric! Okay. Uh, Tourette's guy. Uh, you you have to look up rejected cartoons. That was um, that's. That's David? for my yep. David, I'm giving it to you. Find it for him. It's Don Hertzfeld, projected cartoons. I just I think you just looked that up. Projected cartoons. There you go. 
So you said defend occupants. We are good with the turret. Yep. Uh, yes, we should be. Yeah, that. So that is a that's a animated short from the year two thousand. I love that thing. Seriously, go watch it, Shiver. It's and, and anyone it's in chat that hasn't seen it. It's a piece yeah. of art. Why does this guy look like salad fingers? <laughs> if that's your biggest concern, well, you're about to have bigger concerns. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Additional um... hostile is detected. Are we landed? Yeah, we're done. I'm getting out of the seat right now. Cool. Uh, there's only two of 19 remaining. What? See if we can get a shot in. Okay. Those I mean, those occupants, man, they they defend themselves really well. Nope, wrong one. It's not telling me what any of these levers do. Oh, there it is. It tells you in. Okay, I see it. Surface. I love the levers. I I do love the levers. All right. No surface. I should have just gone out the back way like you. Mm -hmm. I'm running in there quickly before they all die. Well, you gotta wait for me. Do it? Yes. Okay. Don't go down without me. You're 80 meters behind me. Run! <laughs> 60! Yep. 30. Kill some stuff. Be careful. I'm just using a grenade launcher. That's all I'm using. <laughs> I feel like that's going to end you with a wanted level. But, uh, hey. Sounds fun. I can go have a party in the uh, jail. Why is that person naked and why are they dead? Okay. Are you... Ooh. Oh! That was fun. Oh, there's now eight hostiles. Okay, that's more. <laughs> I can't tell one which are right. which. Oh, oh you're the ones with purple faces. Purple face bad. Are you got wait, are you both purple faces or are you good faces? I can't tell if they're purple faces or not. Purple armor bad. I know, it's just, Hold it's so one. slight. Nice. Wait, is this a purple face dude? He's got, like, glasses on. Oh, God. I can't tell. Down to three. This dude doesn't have any armor. He's just got, like, some sunglasses. That's a, that's a good guy. The guy with no armor and sunglasses was... Oh, I'm incapacitated. I got hit too. I almost went down. I'm dead in a minute 30. Well, also, our ship is toast. What? The fuck is going on in these cartoons? <laughs> I do not have a medical anything. Oh, good. Do you have a medical anything? I had a... a red syringe somewhere can i like shove that into you i don't know you'll have to try that i'm sorry what no i shoved it into me okay all right i'll oh, go see good. if i can find a medical <laughs> something there should be a box with can... medical stuff somewhere can't you hear our ship getting blown up above no i can't told the day two days ago in fact my my little nephew came over and, he, and he, you know he's at that age where he's just discovered how to run so he's ah, yes. running from one so side Everywhere. of the house to the other side of the house laughing mm -hmm. his head off fucking adorable yeah. really nice yeah. uh lo loves his grandmother and then all of a sudden he turns around and looks at me after he's just been laughing himself and then he just goes ah uh -huh. and runs back to be uh cuddled by grandmother <laughs> yep Sounds about right. 
Yeah. Uh, how much life you got there, my friend? I mean, that's kids. That's yep. just kids. Ooh. All right, I found a box. Please have a health thing. Nope, no health thing. Link has has the occasional days we see where he's like, "No, I will not speak to Dad." Oh, Mom nice. only. Those are great. Are you still alive? <laughs> I mean, it says a minute twenty seven, but I think it's like an hour twenty seven because it's only going down every minute which is weird okay cool i'm good with that that should give me enough time to actually find something to get you up with there's time i'm not going anywhere there's gotta be gotta be something somewhere in here right friends on twitch I, re I don't know i really want them to f i can't wait until we get some server meshing and like the AI aren't so shit. Oh, I know. And, and then it's going to be terrifying because the AI are actually amazing when the servers are working right. Yep. It's scary. Well, part of the problem is you don't know what you're going to get. Cause I stared at that nope. guy with sunglasses for like a good 20 seconds and he stared at me before he shot. And then I shot him. Well, you were both going, is he purple face? Is he not purple face? Is he yeah. a purple face? I'm not sure. Yeah. Pretty much. But then, but then, and, and he took like 20 seconds to, to do anything. And then I took two steps out and someone shot me from the side, which must have been another AI. But that one was like, any bang. Dead. Right? Hey, he's there's, probably there's... shooting at somebody else. <laughs> maybe i don't know there's it's there's such a variance that like what duck songs i don't know those oh they're adorable they're great yeah yeah oh, speaking duck of adorable walks up to a lemonade stand and he asks a man running the stand hey got any grapes <laughs> poor shiver we're such jerks something about his coldness goodness all homemade okay it's it, they're, they're very amusing it's very, very very nice songs very nice songs. there's a trilogy with a plot and overarching stuff there's no okay. twists or anything nice it's all right so you it's, know what, it's, yeah you know what's pretty fun what I'm also going to die. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm bleeding out. Oh, good. And no medical stuff? Not yet. Sweet. Well, we're both going to die. And then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Sorry. Sorry. Speaking, I, I just, because I'm dead and uh, dying here uh, with no, dead no and means dying. of salvation. That's rough. Dead and dying. Rough, yeah. yeah. It's it's the worst state of being. Um, speaking of adorable, the TV show Bluey. It's a kids show mm -hmm. about a family of dogs, a family of Australian dogs, uh -huh. um, and. I think it might be the best TV show ever. Um, That's high praise. I I seriously think it it's it's a wholesome family show about a bunch of dogs and like the 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 mama mom dog and the dad dog and the two sister dogs and like their life and almost every single episode. I, I sit there watching and I'm just bawling my eyes out in tears, like, like happy and like wholesome and like, like warm blanket and heating, heating blanket and like cup of soup tears. And like, just, I, I it, when I'm having a bad day, I go and watch Bluey. 
And I think um, everyone... David, Shh. Yep. You'd be happy to know that if you go look at the top-rated TV shows on uh, IMDb, the top-rated show ever is Planet Earth 2. However, fair. It has fair. a it has a not it has a 9.4 out of 10. Yeah. Bluey is I think not ranked yet and it has a 9.5 out of 10. So it yep. is actually by IMDb standards the number one show ever made. I really I cannot more highly recommend. Like even just even sitting here hang, hang, hang on. Yeah. Is anyone else worried about the fact that it's called Planet Earth 2? What happened to the first one? Uh, the first one was narrated by David Attenborough and it was fantastic. And uh, it's it. I watched it for Are we on Earth 2 or we're on 3rd Earth? Should we be uh, worried we like is what I'm Earth really trying to get at. We're on, oh. we're, on, we're on Earth 69 420. <laughs> nice. Anyway. That's why it's so weird. Okay? <laughs> Please... Do yourself a favor, go and watch some Bluey, and it it will make you happy. That's that's what I want. Okay, to say. I will. That's what I'll do for the rest of my weekend. I, I I'm gonna watch Bluey. It's on Disney Plus. If you have that, um, seriously, watch it. And and if you do watch some, I would genuinely love to know what you think of it. Um, that said. I don't think you're finding anything to revive me, and I don't think I'm. Oh, I'm dead. I'm 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 long since dead. All right, we're dead. So I'm gonna hold backspace to die. Um, I bled out. I bled out trying to find something to heal you with. I think that's gonna do it for us for the night. Um, for for new people that have stuck around thus far, one, thank you. Uh, two, hi. Three. um, Hello, everybody. We do this every Saturday. Uh, we do this some Tuesdays. The only real way to know if we're doing this on a Tuesday or not is either to follow us on Twitch or join our Discord, in which we say, hey, we're doing things on a Tuesday. Uh, um, that said, uh, join us next Saturday. It would, it would be lovely to have you. Uh, but before we go, uh, Shiver, you have your own channel over at uh, twitch.tv slash table of horrors. Uh, what's going on there? I, I do. I do. I, I can't. Put, uh, I do. <laughs> Shit, that's the wrong side. You, I do. You've got, a, you've got a couple of things there with, <laughs> with the logo. Literally the only person that's bought anything. And Miami. Thank you, Miami. Um, yeah, we have got on Monday in the Western time zone... Uh, softy run shadow run so if you want to have some sort of cyberpunky magical role playing goodness tune in for that uh, then Friday in your western time zone barely just <laughs> we play Vampire the Masquerade V5 we've got an ongoing game uh, set in Oxford UK which we'd love to see you pop in and say hello uh, once a month I do another used to be once a month and then I got sh- shit on by Covid uh another vtm game and we've got a shed load of stuff coming up and uh yeah it's a race between will that get finished or will i slash my wrists first we'll see we'll see it's 50 50 that's uh twitch.tv slash table of horrors yeah sounds good um, (laughs) thank you all for that we also do occasionally cover um space related stuff i i assume we're going to try and if, if it's launching at a reasonable time, uh, stream the um, uh, the BFR launch. I'm still going to call yes. it the BFR. Um, um, that one, that's one of those ones where I will take the day off if it's during the middle of the day. Um, yeah. It's uh, that important. Um, yeah, uh, they're actually getting fairly close. The next big thing to happen down there, probably this coming week, is that they're going to try and fire up all 33 engines on uh, star- the booster for Starship. Um, to give you some context, uh, SpaceX broke the record for the most thrust out of any booster ever when they fired up 14 engines a couple months ago. Um, so they're going to 33 next. So <laughs> it's going to be a show. Um, 
vote, 50% chance that it goes really well, and the other 50% is it's going to probably explode. Um, so, yeah, it'll be uh, be good. Um, but if everything goes well with that test, they'll probably be launching here in the next couple months. So that's be exciting. Cool. Yep. Um, Don't like the results. Hey, everybody, you should all go and buy Table of Horrors merch. So... <laughs> Um. There. Uh, if as as <laughs> as, as the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh I I, I will try also try and keep yeah. it as cheap as Streamlabs allow us to keep it, but they had to raise their prices, and so yeah. Yeah. I I will oh, also say, if you like space stuff, uh, join us in in our our relay Discord because we do have mm-hmm. an entire uh channel dedicated solely to cool space stuff which is uh yep. basically as active as world. our star citizen channel honestly so um yeah but uh seriously thank you all for joining us and watching shiver uh it, damn good to have you on again missed you yeah where am i it was awesome so uh, i don't know if i'll be able to make it next week i'm running a game for people maybe hopefully it's all That's the other thing we do. If you're in the Discord, occasionally I run community games. If you ever want to try playing VTM or some other things, I have too many TTRPGs. <laughs> I forgot. I, I kidnap this one. Try to kidnap once a month uh, for Star Trek as well, because that's another one we fucking buy. <clears throat> Um. Yeah, that's that is it for that's us. Tough. Um. Thank you, everybody. Love you and, all. Stay uh, safe. And yeah. uh, have an excellent rest of your weekend. And we hope to see you again uh, soon. soon. And all all of you should go watch Don Hertzfeld's uh, Rejected, uh, which Rejected I'll also cartoons. Throw yeah in the uh, in the chat. <laughs>